Hey there, everybody. Hope you're having a good week this week so far in this strange new uh, circumstance that we're living in. Uh, so last week, I posted the first of two videos uh, reflecting on vacuuming out your car. And uh, last week, uh, it was about how in vacuuming out your car, you uh, kind of get a chance to get inside the car and, and really get acquainted with the insides and see the mess that's there and do something about it. And in the process, you might find surprising things. For example, I found those running shoes that I had buried under my seat, under the driver's seat at least. And uh, in taking the time to really get into the car and clean it out, I found the running shoes and it brought joy. And so last week I wanted you to reflect on, you know, what are the things in your life uh, that bring you joy that maybe have been buried, that have been forgotten or neglected? And, and I wanted you to write down three things that bring you joy or that used to bring you joy that maybe have been neglected or buried in the circumstances of busy life and to write those down and to act on them, to uh, bring them back out, to find joy again and to share that joy with others. Um, today I want to share a little bit about another aspect of vacuuming out the car. Because when you get into your car, and I don't know if some of you are like me or not, but uh, a car can kind of turn into like a massive junk drawer of life <laughs> where you just, stuff just gets left in there and, and you, you leave it in there and you, you say you'll, you'll clean it out or do something with it later, but you never do. And so it just piles up and after a while you've just got a bunch of stuff in your car. Uh, and it, it's really a matter of like habits and 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 time over over a period of time habits and patterns of living and our busyness uh, lead to a cluttered car and we need to stop sometimes or at least we should stop sometimes to declutter the car to clean it out and to uh, clean up the mess that habits and patterns of living over time have created and it makes me think about our lives uh, this is something we need to do with our lives too. God wants us to do that with our lives. That's, I think, what Sabbath is all about in a lot of ways. Why the Sabbath is so important because it's a time to stop, to stop adding to the clutter, to stop adding to the busyness, to rest and to declutter and to simplify one day a week. And if we don't do it one day a week, we need to at least somehow take a day sometime. Uh, but the point is that decluttering our lives is important and it takes a little bit of time it takes work just like vacuuming out the car you gotta crawl around in the car and you gotta crawl into the back seat and vacuum in the cracks and stuff like that if you really want to clean it out and it's it, it, it's no simple task uh, cleaning and decluttering our lives is no simple task but it's necessary uh, the Lord desires it of us and wants us to live freely and sometimes we make our lives more complicated and more burdensome than we ought so what are the things in your life then that uh, over patterns and habits of living and over the course of time have cluttered up your life uh, and there, there's two ways that this goes you can clutter up by trying to do too much or you can clutter up your life by not doing much, uh, by doing too much. You, you do, we try and do too much. We worry too much. We fret too much. We, we absorb ourselves in busyness and we don't have time to rest. Uh, we try and do too much to impress people on social media or, or whatever it might be. We clutter up our lives and we don't have margin and space to breathe. Uh, we need to stop and slow down or we clutter up our lives by not doing much uh, we spend just an inordinate amount of time on our on our phones or on our screens or on our tablets and and clutter up that time when we could use that time with the people in our house uh, in personal relationship in conversation and playing a board game uh, or we clutter up our lives by uh, by neglecting to put time into relationships with those near us. And so we put them off and, and don't do it. And 
but but the not doing it adds up and it creates tension in those relationships or we clutter up our lives in habits and patterns you know in the evenings just sitting on the couch watching TV for two or three hours in the evening instead of maybe getting out your Bible instead of praying instead of meditating on your day and reflecting on God's presence in your life we clutter it up with other stuff and neglect things that can actually free us by not doing those things in the book of Micah in the Old Testament uh, in Micah chapter 6, verses 6 through 8, uh, there's this sort of uh, dialogue between God and Micah. And Micah says, With what should I approach the Lord and bow down before God? Should I come before him with burnt offerings, with year old calves? Will the Lord be pleased with a thousands of rams, with many torrents of oil? Should I give my oldest child for my crimes, the fruit of my body for the sin of my spirit? So Micah's approaching God and saying, what, what do I have to do to make God happy? Uh, all, all these things I can do, what will work? And Micah says, or the Lord says in response, He has told you, human one, what is good and what the Lord re requires of you, to do justice, to embrace faithful love, and walk humbly with your God. You know, Micah has this whole list of things uh, that he feels like he needs to do and and it clutters up his life and God responds with simplicity. It's three things. Do justice, embrace faithful love, walk humbly with your God. God desires of, us, of our lives uh, simplicity and God doesn't demand stuff of us. And sometimes we can clutter up our lives with all the stuff and all the things when God is just silently calling to us to stop. Take time today and in this new era, strange period of our lives right now, uh, and during Lent, we're still in Lent, take time to reflect and to declutter your life. Uh, Sort of like vacuuming out the car, cleaning out the mess and the clutter that habits and patterns of living over time have created. Declutter it. Pause. Take time. God's not demanding stuff of you. We are making our lives worse. God wants simplicity for you. Peace. So this time around, I want you to get out paper and write down three patterns or three habits that have been that have been cluttering your life up. Three patterns or habits of living that have been cluttering up your life. Write them down. And then write down what are you going to do to free up that clutter, to make space, to hear the Lord speak to you. Last week it was write down three things that bring you joy and act on them. This week, it's three patterns or habits of living that have been cluttering up your life. And what are you going to do to clean that up? To give your life margin, to give your life freedom, to bring back joy. Have a good day today. We'll see you tomorrow.